What's going on guys, Gucci1230 here with more Grand Theft Auto 5, and today I've got some new leaked information for you guys. This is regarding the online heists that are of course coming to Grand Theft Auto Online. Uh, yeah, Rockstar did promise these to us a pretty long time ago, I think, and um, I don't know, they just haven't gotten to releasing them yet, and we've really gotten little to no information on them, but today there has been some new leaked information that kind of fills us in a little bit, and uh, I assume that Rockstar will be confirming this stuff in the near future, but until then, I'm going to give you that information just a little bit earlier. So to fill you in a little bit, this leak happened how most of the leaks happened. Somebody hacked into the code and they kind of decrypted the files and whatnot, not sure of all this hacker lingo, but that's kind of how it is to me, and uh, basically they found this text right here. Now at first glance, it's a little hard to tell what all this is, but the guy who hacked all this and found it, his name is FunMW2 from the GTA forums, he gave us this key scene here, and this is where he basically breaks down what all these abbreviations mean, and as you can see, cash R is cash, XPR is RP, uh, min is the minimum number of players for the heist and so forth. So we're gonna go through all this and break it down for you guys. So as you can see there at the beginning of the text, we've got Char, Zero, Charcone, and uh, CMPTS. Uh, that stuff is not really, you know, listed on the key there, so we're not really entirely sure what that is. But as you can see, the fourth thing there is the cash R, and the cash equals $80,000. Now at this point, it's unclear whether or not each player who completes the heist is gonna get $80,000, or if we're gonna have to split the $80,000 amongst ourselves. That we're gonna probably have to wait and find out. But then moving on, we've got a few more uh, mystery... Uh, uh, symbols there basically, but then we get to some text. Get a team together and break into the vault of Vinewood's Maze Bank and steal the gold held there. You'll need a hacker, a couple of crack shots, and your best getaway driver. You'll also need to get some wheels which can outrun the cops. So right off the bat there, that really sounds awesome. That's gonna be a lot of fun, you know, team coordination there and just ways to have fun with either your crew, your friends, or maybe even strangers. So then it continues on there, uh, N-Type 0, GPMN, a few random things there, uh, let's see. Then moving down onto the next line, you can see number equals 6, and as you look at the key there, you can see that NUM is the maximum numbers of players for the heist. So, the maximum numbers uh, for this heist is 6. We don't know if that's going to be use universal across all of the heists, or only this one specifically. I imagine that that's going to be universal, but uh, obviously we're going to have to wait and find out for that. And then actually backtracking a little bit uh, to the previous line there, you can see min NU is equal to 4, and then looking at the key, you can see that uh, that is the minimum number of players for the heist. So this heist is going to require 4 to 6 players. Sounds good to me, that sounds like a good even number. Uh, too many more or too many less would kind of just throw it off in my opinion, because, you know, with too many people it'll be madness, and with not enough it just won't be too fun. Okay, so moving onward, uh, you can see that rank equals 60. Now this part's interesting. Looking at the key there, rank is the required rank for the heist. Wow, 60 is actually pretty high. Once again, we don't know if this is universal for all heists. You know, maybe you need to be 60 to do any heist in the game, or maybe it's only this one specifically. We don't really know. Um, at this point in time, I'm kind of thinking that heists are, you know, going to be a required level of 60 for all of the heists. I could be wrong, and I kind of hope that I'm wrong, because 60 is a really high level, uh, and if you're doing it legitimately, it takes a, a bit of time to get there, especially if you're only now getting into this game. You know, maybe you got it for Christmas or something, so, um, you know, 60 might just be a little bit tough. And then finishing off the code there, uh, we've got a few more random things here. Uh, the coordinates for the start location, which aren't too important because, honestly, I don't know where that's at. It's probably just at the maze bank or something like that, but that's not uh, all that great. And, um, yeah, so with that, guys, that is the first look into the heists that will be coming out for Grand Theft Auto Online. And, uh, in my opinion, that's some pretty juicy information. We get the number of players, the, the payout, the location, and, uh, basically also a, a little rundown of it, and it, it makes it sound really exciting. I'm happy, and I'm excited to get this information, and I can't wait to see what Rockstar has for us in the future for these heists. Uh, so with that, guys, tell me what you think in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please stay tuned for more Grand Theft Auto V in the future, and I will see you next time.